Today we are going to install a TimeTag BLE2 on the AutoGate system. Okay, uh, I will show you how to connect this BLE2 to the existing AutoGate system in order to use the app to open the gate and to close the gate as well. Okay, now we can start installing the uh, controller with the BLE3. BLE3 now has got one extra accessories which is the Bluetooth um, device that you can actually press to open. There are four inputs uh, but BLE3 has got three inputs so um, we can program to uh, control the three inputs. So now we plan to have these three inputs, one for the door, uh, one side, two for two sides of door, three if there's any extra uh, inputs that you want to use. All right. So, so far it's actually, we are going to use it for two. Okay. So this is the existing uh, autogate system. And uh, we are going to do the wiring onto the existing panel. This is a BLE3. As you can see, there is a um, power input. Power input. And we are going to use two channels now. One and two. Okay, first of all, we have to do the power input, which is this, this two. And the power will be taken from the panel. Okay, there are 12 volts power output. So now we are doing the channel one. And channel two. So the power will be taken from the power here, alright, this is the channel 1 with the COM, channel 2 with the COM, alright, so I'm going to show you how to connect the wiring from the power, this is the channel 1 COM, channel 2 COM, so these two COM can join together and then insert onto the common comb here okay so this is the common comb that we are going to insert into the third screw So channel 1, yeah the green color, channel 2, the orange color. Okay, very easy installation. This is how you connect BRE3 onto the current AutoGate panel.
earlier on we were trying to use the power provided by the panel here unfortunately these two power has been given a higher voltage to burn the BLE2 yeah so we have got a new replacement here and we are doing the power from a different source which is from the battery source here to maintain the voltage at 12 volt so my advice is before we do any installation we must check with the power voltage with the multimeter to see whether the 12 volt is uh, maintaining uh, at the same level otherwise we have to use different power source so we have successfully connected the BLE3 together with the existing panel by using the power source from the battery here all right now we are trying to uh, keep the BLE2 into the panel box okay now we are going to use our software to connect to add the BLE2 into the software because we can use this software to control the opening and closing of the auto gate so press the plus sign to add yeah we found the BLE2 here okay Alright, as you can see, we have added the BLE2 onto the mobile app. Now, we will press button 1 to open both sides of the door. Okay, so now we can actually pause it. Yeah. And also, we can close back the gate. So the button 2 we have programmed as to open one side of the gate. Okay, press the button number 2. So it will open one side of the gate. Okay, as usual, you can press the button number two to pause it. Yeah, and also press the button number two again to close the gate. So now we can use the time tag Bluetooth key fold to do the demo. Press 1 to open both sides of the gate. And you can also pause the gate. Yeah, you can see the red the blue light, blue light flashing. Press 1 again to close the gate. And we have also programmed the button 2 as a channel 2 to open one side of the gate. You can also pause it. Yeah. And now you can close the gate. As we are coming back home, 
pull out the handphone pull out the app so when you come close to the door or to the gate you can just press the button and the gate will open all right this is true bluetooth connectivity As we are coming back now, we use another method which is the key fold. Alright, so when we arrive at the gate, we press the button. Yeah, then you should be able to get the gate open.